Hey! Is for horses. A friend of mine used to do that to me all the time when we were driving past a field full of hay bales and of course it made me jump. But I also love that subtle perspective shift. It's a bit like an aha moment with invention when suddenly it's impossible to see the situation as you might once have done. Our problems become our purpose, our passion, our profit even. And when we look at problems, there really are only ever four different types. There's problems that we know about and we know the solution to. But for some reason, we haven't got the energy and the inspiration, the motivation to solve them. Then we've got problems that we know about and we know the solution to, but we haven't got the expertise, the skills, the knowledge, the resources to actually make that solution happen. Then there are problems that we know about, but we actually don't know the solution to. They're the ones that require that innovative thinking. And then we've got problems that we don't know about, and they're perhaps the most dangerous of them all. They say that 90% of our mistakes are errors of perception, rather than mistakes made by logical thinking. So with that in mind, to solve our problems, we need to broaden our perspective. We need to gain objectivity over the situation. We need to know how to prioritise our actions, our resources, our energy. And we need a plan. Then we need the push to actually bring about that plan, to take the action, the inspiration, the incentive, if you will, the why behind what we're doing. So how do you gain that broader perspective? How do you actually extract yourself from the situation when you're stuck in it? How do you know what's really important to you when you can hardly see the wood from the trees? And how then do we actually have a strategy that sets us up for the success that we're after with the energy and interest, the intentions aligned with our actions so that actually we're a driving force in our own right and it's almost impossible to stop us from getting to where we want to go because we are passionate about it. It is our purpose. Well, I'd like to give you all of this in a simple solution that I call the WF system, weather forecast. Whether to do one thing or whether to do another. Using metaphors of the weather to help you stage a balanced state of mind. So this framework is designed to help you stop procrastinating and using your imagination negatively to worry about your situation. To stop you from putting yourself down, from telling yourself that you can't do something or you can't achieve something or you can never get to where you really want to go. Really to stop you from expecting those simple solutions to show up too because they're not going to. And to encourage you to stop drifting about oblivious to some of the problems that are actually out there. It's our time to take responsibility for ourselves, to change our inner worlds, to see the positive impact. So you can get all of this right now in my new book. It's called You Think. How to add value to your life with critical and creative thinking skills. Go ahead, you can click the link on the screen right now. Click the link and grab your copy and put this framework to use for yourself in your own life, for your situation, whether personal or professional. And even, I must add, when you're feeling uninspired and demotivated, when you've not got the energy that you really feel, that your life's not lining up with your true passions and purpose, that you haven't got that feeling that you really have the skills to solve your problems because everyone can develop skills, skills can be trained, and this is all in the book. Furthermore, if you're looking to generate those simple solutions, or if you're looking to predict some of the potential perils and pitfalls that you might otherwise overlook. Put this framework to use and see how it works for you. You can grab your copy now simply by clicking this link. Go ahead, click the link and grab your copy. Put the framework to use and start turning your problems into your sense of passion, purpose and indeed profit.